Pace. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your April 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that you're in no contact with to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this individual and what will happen if you did ha have contact with this person. Uh, what else do you guys need to know? Look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, you may switch channels if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take it to the placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I'm live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on their too. So tell me about um, Pisces. The person that Pisces in, is in no contact with, is it a good idea for Pisces to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with? Is it a good idea for Pisces to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with for April 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. So we have the lovers, Gemini energy. With the Four of Cups, it seems like this person's definitely thinking about you, thinking about the relationship a lot here. They do want to reconnect with you. With the Moon card here, you know, they could be having dreams about you. They could be having dreams about reconnecting with you here. I mean, in these dreams, you guys could be resolving your issues here too and bringing it up to the forefront in the 3D here, okay? We have the Six of Swords, Libra Aquarius, uh, no, uh, Aquarius Energy. With the Nine of Cups, this person's seeing you as their wish fulfillment here. I feel like this person's definitely losing sleep over you. This person could be having nightmares about losing you here too. Yeah, but I do feel like this person definitely wants to reconnect with you here. Is it a good idea? Um, let's see. I'm going to pull more cards here with the Seven of Wands and the uh, Lovers. With the Four of Cups and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Seems like this person's definitely sort of like trying to gain the willpower here to fight for what they want here. I do feel like there's a seriousness to this person here, Pisces, okay? Uh, yeah, I feel like this person's definitely making some plans here, making some change here. This person wants to prove to you that they've changed. And I feel like this person's definitely wanting to tell you the truth. They're wanting to talk here. So I actually, if anything, you won't reach out to this person, but I see this person reaching out to you. But like I said, you could switch the roles if you want. Uh, you could be reaching out to this person here. We have the Six of Swords, the Six of Swords here, and the Ace of Swords. This person wants to talk here. This person wants to clear the air. This person wants to make peace with you. This person wants to heal the relationship. They're looking for your forgiveness. They're looking to regain your trust here with the Nine of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune here. Someone here is definitely coming back around, change. Someone here is coming back around different here, uh, Pisces. I feel like this is an individual that cannot stop thinking about you. I, if anything, I feel like this person is worried that you know, no contact will continue or that you will never speak to them again. That is what this person is worried about here. What else do we have for, for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on for uh, April 2024? What will happen if there's any sort of communication between Pisces and the person that they are in no contact with? For Pisces, for Pisces. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, a little Sagittarius energy. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Justice card. Mm. This person is definitely really connecting the dots here because I feel like the way that they behave with you, it stems from their own wounded inner child here. And I feel like this person's definitely working on healing that inner child, okay? I do feel like they wanna win you back. I do feel like this person wants to put an effort into winning you back here, making this relationship work. Seems like this person's definitely really committed and disciplined into focusing on working on themselves and also bringing this relationship back together here, okay? So I do feel like this person is definitely really serious here, okay? Uh, let's see, tell me about this, um, tell me about this page of wands here for Pisces. Oh, we have the devil card. This person is obsessed with you. This person deals with codependency issues here, Pisces. Uh, this person has massive codependency issues here. 
that could be one of the reasons that what you guys broke up here because uh, maybe you needed space here and this person didn't give you space this person kept smothering you um this person might also have a sex addiction here too maybe this person has been uh, you know, maybe came to that realization and they've been actively working on correcting that uh, with the hermit, the hermit and the two of wands here. Seems like this person's definitely hit a crossroads in their life here. It could also be an indication with the two of wands here, you have a decision to make whether you want to take this person back into your life or not. Uh, because at the end of the day, you had a direct experience with this person. You know what this person's about. You know, uh, so, so a lot of times, you know, when trust is broken in a really deep way, it's hard to regain that trust. You know what I mean? And sometimes that never happens ever again uh, with the five of swords here and the queen of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Kings and Queen of Swords here. This is a true pair. This is a soulmate connection. I mean, this could be indication that Pisces, you're like, you know what? I'm going to distance myself from the situation. I'm going to put myself first and just focus on my work at this time here. And I don't really have time for this at this time. So it could be a situation that you might circle back around to this at a later time. But for now, I don't feel like a lot of you guys really want to talk to this individual here, okay? Because I feel like you guys don't want to play games or that you guys just don't really have time because you guys have a full plate here or, or that you guys are doing a lot here at this time, okay? Uh, with the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands, you know, you could be turning your back on the situation here. You know, I feel like what you're about to do might completely surprise this person because some of you guys could be actually moving away, moving to a different location here. And they feel like maybe you're moving for your work here, Pisces, okay? Uh, maybe you've taken a promotion at a different location here. It could be higher pay here. It could be more work. So I feel like you're definitely in this energy of kind of like getting acclimated here and getting used to your new surroundings and your environment, okay? The Eight of Pentacles here, Three of Cups. Tell me about the Justice card. Why is the Justice card here? And then the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, this person really wants to sit down and talk to you here. They want to have coffee. They want to have lunch here. They have unfinished business here with you. It seems like this person is definitely making some changes here. I really feel like this person's serious, okay? We have the... Uh, Emperor, Aries energy, and the death card here, Scorpio energy. This person has changed a lot. They could have overcame the codependency issues. They could have overcome their addictions here. But, you know, it could be that, you know, with the two of swords here, you have some decisions to make here, Pisces, okay? But like I said, at the end of the day, you've had this direct experience with this person. Even though this is your this could be your story, you know, you still have free will to do what you want and do what's right for you. So I feel like that's the beauty of this is to bring awareness to a situation that you're going through right now. And basically, you know, if this story fits you based on this information, you will use your best dis discernment and your intuition in whether you want to take this person back or not. But I really feel like this person has grown. This person has really evolved here and changed a lot here, okay? And I feel like you guys can make something happen here. Yeah, you guys can make something happen here. I do feel like something beautiful can come together here. That's if you are open to that. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles does not come up for no reason at all. This is commitment. This is long term here, you know? So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the, the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.